it's time for your host of Give Mike a Mic Reloaded, Michael Vivaldi! It's Halloween time, Halloween time. If you're not watching the uh, video portion of this, you should definitely do that. It's great. Where the viaduct looms like a bird of doom as a ship and crack. Where secrets lie in the board of fires and the humming wires. Yeah, man, you know you're never coming back. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> past the stacks. Oh, welcome to Give Mike a Mike Reloaded. We are here in <laughs> celebrating Halloween. Halloween. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't hear anybody. Are you guys muted? I I, I think it was muted for like a second. I think all of us muted when it first started, but then Go I face. unmuted it. Unmute yourself. Press the little microphone. There you go. <laughs> bye bye bye. Holy right. <laughs> oh god! We're gonna get my my on it. We're back for more Halloween. Um, we decided to do our favorite mask. Uh, of course, this is Ghostface from the Scream series. Omar, who did you choose for your mask? I had no choice, but <laughs> the Red Ranger. Classic. Why not? Why not? Alex, who did you choose for your mask? I'm the amazing Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah. Is that the Garfield Spider-Man or Tobey Maguire Spider-Man? Right? I think it is because of the eyes, but the suit is like one of those like big muscular ones. Like I probably. So <laughs> it's it feels like he's like venomized like Spider-Man, Ooh. I guess, because he's like super muscular. Ooh. None of no Spider-Man's ever been that buff. No. But I uh, have both Spider Man's. Yeah. So that's what happens. Well, guys, welcome to another episode of Give Mike a Mike Reloaded. As you can read in our title, we're going to be talking about Halloween Kills today. Uh, that is the most recent Halloween movie that we just saw that just came out. It is streaming now for free on Peacock. Uh, but we Peacock. are not sponsored by Peacock, so we don't care about Peacock. Fuck Peacock. Uh, Peacock. Stream free and also in theaters. Um, we actually, myself and Alex, we saw it in theaters. Omar, you saw it in Peacock? I saw it at home, yeah. Saw it at home. I actually saw it twice. Alex saw it twice. You saw it on Peacock again? I saw it. Well, I saw it in theaters Friday night. Uh huh. And then I watched it today on a uh, Peacock. Wow. Yeah. Doing I wanted some to get like research. I wanted to get like saw, the experience yeah, yeah. of like I saw both one and a half environments, <laughs> you know? <laughs> One yeah, one yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we got a lot of, to talk about in this movie, a lot to dissect. So we're going to get into it. Uh, but of course, before we get into it, we're going to do some housekeeping per usual. Um, of course, make sure that you are following us and subscribe to us on all your podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Anchor FM and Amazon. And make sure you give us that five star review on Apple because I am a five star man. And also make sure you're following us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook at Give Mike a Mike and share this podcast with all of your lovely friends and family and check out our bookshop dot org affiliate link in the description of this episode you'll see our favorite books and what we're reading right now including any spooky things uh see our curated list and when you purchase your books proceeds of your purchase will go right back to local independent bookshop owners in your area that may be struggling uh post covid uh trying to get their get the shit back in order so here we are halloween here kills we- um Alex, I know last week we were talking about Squid Games. Where where are you at with Squid Games? We're gonna get we're gonna have our Alex update on Squid Games. How far are we into it? I'm still on episode six right now. Did well, you I mean, finish I, episode six? No, I haven't. Wow, I haven't. I gotta start it. Wow, I'm gonna watch. Oh, you gotta gonna start watch. it. You haven't even started. Yeah. No. Wow. 
Wow. Dude, so here's here's my thing about no, I don't Squid want, Game. I, don't, I, don't I love shit. I love the show. Go. It's just the Here episodes are so long. They're like an oh, hour long. I They're not that said. long. They, They're they all goes, an hour they long. Go by so but they go fast. fast. At least they go fast. Flying. I'm not yeah, saying yeah. that they don't. Because when I sit down and watch them, I'm like, I yeah. watch a few back to back. It's just yeah, been yeah, like, oh. I just been, dude. Man. Right now, like, I had a crazy ass deadline at work, like where I had to put in these notes and finish up some stuff. And I did that on Wednesday. Yeah. Then last night I worked the new job that I got part-time oh, at true, night. Oh, true, 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 true. Yes. So I didn't well, have time. I watched like all the way up until I had to go in. And then <sighs> that was it. Listen, I, you need to put I all your you other shows, put all your other shows on hold. Fuck Ted Lasso right now. Just finish. I'm not even. I haven't, I haven't even Man, watched who? an episode of Ted Lasso in like the past couple days, dude. Yes, yeah, I, I've been watching Halloween to get ready for this movie. Like, I literally watched the first one. You watched it twice. In that amount of time, you could have watched. <laughs> he, needs do, he needs to do the research. An Dude, episode of Squid Games. When when we talk about this this movie, you're going to understand why I watched it two Listen, times. Listen, I am glad. <laughs> I am glad you are taking so long for Squid Games. Because what that means is that you're not uh, in love with it as much as some of the, these other people here. So That's true. I feel like we're gonna have an interesting conversation about Squid Games. Yeah. What we like than what we didn't like. For sure. You know? We are. So we are. Get ready for that one with a special guest, I'm sure. But today <laughs> we're of course Huh? Harito. 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 <laughs> uh but today we're gonna be talking about a man in a mask. And not this mask. mask. Not yet. Not until January. The semi mask. We will be talking we will be talking about the semi mask. <laughs> uh Michael Myers. <laughs> Halloween Kills, the sequel to the 2018 reboot or sequel, I should say, not even a reboot. It's a sequel. Yeah, it's a sequel, different timeline. Sequel of the original uh, Halloween series. So, uh, out of these two, like you said, Halloween 2018 and Halloween Kills. Let's just say, what? Which one did you enjoy more overall? Which one did I enjoy overall? Correct. Okay. Over, well, over both. Yeah. Don't, yeah. Don't. I don't want to review. I just want to know. Just give me Halloween or Halloween Kills, and then we'll get into it. Honestly, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Halloween Kills. I liked it better than than the original one. Omar. Can I choose the easy answer? Just say both. No. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you like them equally. I'll exp- I have to explain later why. Yeah, I just, I just, uh, I feel like what's what they're building. I, when it's all said and done, then I can probably choose the best. You okay. know, what I'm saying like right now, I just can't blindly choose the best because I don't know where this is going. And yeah. they might either they might stick the landing, or they'll just crash and burn. So I don't know yet. All right. So 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 far, I enjoy both equally for different reasons. Gotcha. So about, we're gonna get into you, this. Um, I'm gonna go Halloween Kills. And we'll we'll get into it for sure, um, but I did watch Halloween hours before I watched Halloween Kills again. I actually saw it uh, twice this week. The the uh, Halloween I saw the original uh, Halloween. Oh, yeah. that was 70, 70, 78. The seventy eight. Yeah. I saw that. Then for some reason I watched uh, Halloween three season of the witch for no reason. I have, Why? Never, seen, I have Why? never seen that before. I have never seen that before. Do you have a do you just like like you're a glutton for punishment? Jesus Christ. No, it had people like people like that movie. That movie you is know? the worst, dude. <laughs> listen. That movie is trash. It has nothing I, bro, to do with okay. did you see it at all. Yes, listen. I've seen it. Oh, okay, if you okay. watch it yeah. with the 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 blinders on like not like you're like okay, this has the Halloween title on it, right. but it has nothing to do with Michael Myers. Like nothing to do with it, right? The soundtrack on it was really good. Like but the, probably the best Halloween soundtrack I have heard. The ever problem is every really time they life. show that movie that I've seen it, like you know how AMC has these like Halloween like events, like Marathons. where they show movies back Marathons, to back. Yeah. Exactly, they always tie it to those movies. No matter what, they always tie it, and it's hard for me to like look at it and say, "Okay, this is not a Halloween movie." Like, because the that's only just been time in my brain every in, time in the actual movie, the only time where they reference the original Halloween movies are when they're playing them on TV. Exactly, like as a prop. And that's it. Okay. But other than that, you have to think of it. Like, okay, there's mask. 
Michael Myers has a mask. That's the only really tie, I guess, you could bring to it. But outside of that, watch it. I mean, it's not it's, it's not as shitty as a lot of the shitty movies you guys make me watch on here, but it's pretty bad. Wow. It's, it's pretty much up there. I'm, I'm offended right now. I don't I know. Think, I think Omar needs to watch this movie. I don't, and then yeah, we need Omar, to review it. Omar, for real, like, watch it, bro. <laughs> I, watch I've, it. Heard, I've heard so much mixed, mixed responses to yeah. that movie. Like, good, bad. I mean, it depends how you come in and watch it, but yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But but we'll talk about that another day on yeah. that, and uh, we'll, we'll come back to it. But we're going to be talking about, again, Halloween Kills today. So we all had different experiences with it. Of course, some of us saw it in the theater. Some of us saw it at home. But either way, all three of us saw either it. Either way. And a lot of people around the world have seen it or around the country at least have seen it. Omar, what were the numbers again for uh, the box office for um, Halloween Kills? It did, it did uh, $50 million domestically and no love for Peacock. Is that between... <laughs> Uh, the first day, or was like that's, the, that, that's just that, that's just opening the that's Thursday, fr- Friday, and Saturday, not not counting not Sunday, not today, counting yeah. today. Yeah. So they not always do that. The Sunday numbers you'll see it next week. Yeah. yeah. So so overall it was a bang. Gotcha. So fifty mm-hmm. million dollars. It kind of marks the return of people coming to theaters. When I went to the theater to see it last night, uh, my showing was completely full completely packed even the seats that my brother and his wife gave up were full with uh two assholes but well that's a that's a whole nother story um, <laughs> but we went to the theater saw it in dolby um i didn't know what to expect this movie and while i was doing my research for this movie because i wanted to see who was like you know, who directed the original one and wrote it kind of like the behind the scenes of cast and then crew right. and stuff like that. Of course I knew Daniel, uh, Danny McBride Danny was McBride. involved in it. Of course. Yeah. Uh, he wrote it and helped produce it. Uh, so I went back to IMDB just to see other, you know, crew that was on the, on the film. And I did not know that this was part of a trilogy. I had no idea. Like nobody really, discusses. Wow. Yeah, I, I had no wow. idea. So, okay. of course, you have Halloween in 2018. Then you have Halloween Kills that came out uh, this weekend. And next year, 2022, you will have Halloween Ends. So that's going to be the final uh, piece of this which, of this puzzle. Which, by the way, they were supposed they were supposed, they were supposed to film originally Kills and Ends back to back. If thanks, the, did thanks they not? COVID, it feels like it. Nah, did. Thanks to COVID, they. They scrapped those plans. Uh-huh. However, they got the green light. I mean, everything's set to go. They start filming in January. And because this movie... Oh, so they haven't even li- filmed it. They, they film it, like, dude, like, what? Two, three weeks at most? Wow. They're, they're confident they're going to get it out by October. You know, like, like, like nothing happened. I'm hoping. But, yeah. but originally, this was... Remember, last year, we were going to get um, kills. And yes. this year, we are supposed to get ends. Ends, yeah. COVID delayed everything completely. Okay. But now in January we're gonna film it, and I'm I'm sure it, it'll go fine because you know COVID now it doesn't exist anymore. So yeah, uh, exactly. we'll they'll shoot it, and we'll be yeah that'll be edited by April, and we'll, we'll be in the camps in the summer with the promotion that's, trailers and all that. That's amazing. Like yeah. I'm I'm really excited for all the movies Me that too. are coming out yeah. now, especially uh, this movie Halloween Kills. Uh, it literally killed it. Like for me. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain Murder. it. We'll, we'll, we'll kind of go through a general synopsis of this and kind of break it down for you guys who haven't seen it. If you or who have seen it, if you have not seen it, go ahead and pause this podcast real quick. Go watch it on Peacock or go to your local First theater. Of all, why, are, why are you in a video of Halloween Kills? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to spoil. Or if you're trying to spoil it yourself, go ahead. Keep keep watching. Keep, keep we'll, we'll talk about I, it. That works. Yeah, that's it. Whatever. So, uh, of course, Halloween Kills begins with does it start with the flashback that's like the first part right um halloween or kills does it start is, with no 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 it the actually guy, starts the, the boyfriend on the time. phone it starts with present time correct with the and, boyfriend and on the they phone switch, they switch later to uh the past so this is what i loved about this movie that it starts exactly where the last movie started like ended it starts exactly where it ended um basically picks up from i mean maybe not exactly maybe a few minutes uh behind i would say exactly the same time yeah yeah, yeah. but exactly the same timeline you have the boyfriend uh what's his name cameron 
Uh, I think it is. He was the one that dressed up as Bonnie and Clyde. He finds the body of... uh, 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 the, the sheriff. The, the sheriff. I forgot his yeah. name. Which we all thought he was dead. Hawkins. Yeah, we all thought he was dead. Hawkins. Hawkins. Hawkins yes. Yeah. Uh, who's played by the guy from uh, uh, Friday Night Lights? Or was it? Remember the Titans? Is that <laughs> is that is that what I seen him from? Paxton. His name, yeah, isn't that Patton? Patton. Will Patton. Patton I, I know I seen him. Patton? No, it's Patton. Will Patton. Something Patton. Yeah, Will Patton. Will Patton. That's it. Will Patton. Yeah. yeah. Not Paxton. Paxton is a. Uh, Benito, say hello. So Will Patton from Remember the Titans, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's the sheriff, of course, Sheriff Hawkins, and he's found. We thought he was dead from the last movie because he got stabbed by freaking the doctor, uh, Doctor Doctor Wannabe uh, Loomis. Doctor, yeah, Wannabe Loomis, Loomis, and uh, <laughs> he finds the body, and then it kind of goes through. It shows a backstory of like a flashback on the day that that sheriff found michael myers apprehended michael myers and they show a flashback of him going up the stairs and trying to track him with his partner his partner gets caught up by michael myers and then uh the sheriff hawkins shoots his partner in the throat and that's how that dude dies and we're trying to figure out how that really plays out because in the last movie hawkins was saying it's my fault i let him go um he kind of said that uh, a few times and of course jamie lee curtis's character uh laurie schrode says i wish that michael had gotten out had escaped because i want to kill him she said in the first movie and then mm-hmm. he was like dude that's a fucked up thing to pray for psycho but here we are. psycho okay whatever <laughs> She's a psycho um so you have a different stories kind of uh, going on here which i like the 1978 flashback of how they actually apprehended Michael Myers. Um, if you watch Halloween 2, the original one that followed the 1978 version, that movie follows Lori, uh, who's in the hospital, I believe. And then Michael Myers, they don't show him apprehended or nothing like that. Like Michael Myers is still on the loose in Halloween 2. Like they never caught him. Yeah. So this kind of tells a different story it's like oh we did catch michael myers yeah at least that timeline yeah and and kind of changed that timeline in a in a way so i don't know how i feel about that but i do like <laughs> the way that they were they were telling the story i thought it was just so funny seeing michael myers like kind of like, gave up <laughs> yeah he, like, he he's just, like he's like all right, pff, all right you got okay. me <laughs> okay you got me yeah <laughs> no like he didn't know like he, he didn't know what's going on I was like, all right i guess i'm done <laughs> I'm done killing for tonight. I'm I'm done killing tonight. Well, and so, keep in mind. Well, all right, all right, all right. Go on, go on. I'll go back. All right, go on. No, I'm saying you're you're really led to believe that Michael Myers from that point he's caught, apprehended. They sent right. him to the hospital. Uh, Loomis is the one that was originally going to kill him, mm-hmm. and the sheriff was the one who's he's like I I stopped Loomis from killing Michael Myers because he was someone's baby someone's son whatever so you get that little backstory but of course mm-hmm. michael myers then gets locked up goes to the mental hospital and he's there for what we think is 40 years which is you know really 40 years depending on what timeline you are looking at because there's there's two different stories that are being told from the original halloween movie the michael myers verse that's what we're gonna call it instead of the michael multiverse myers. Yeah, there you there's go. a there's a multiverse in his Halloween <laughs> uh, sequence of movies that are coming out. Of course, I I never I have a confession to make. I've never seen H two O or uh, wait, wait, Halloween. Stop, stop, stop. Hold on, go no no reverse. Wait, oh, okay, which was the one <laughs> with uh, Josh saw Hartnett? H two O is that the one with Josh Hartnett? When you were watching Scream with me, you never saw H two O. Hold on, is that the one with Josh Hartnett? Yes, sir. You saw okay. it. Okay, I saw that one. I did not yeah, see the one with Busta Rhymes. I didn't see oh, the one with no, Busta Rhymes. No, no, nobody did. Don't worry What's about the, it. What was that called? Uh, Resurrection. Resurrection. Yes, I did not see Resurrection. So, have you seen it yet today? No. <laughs> Go watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Go watch it. I don't that watch it. movie. All right, you know when I talk later, I'm going to talk about that movie. But go on. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> We'll watch it right after watching Halloween three. There you I go. have yeah. a story about I have a story about that movie. Go on. Season of the Witch, and then uh, watch. Oh, <laughs> watch you the probably you probably get up dead, but okay. Yeah, <laughs> <it's fine. laughs> uh, so there's a lot of, a lot to this movie. To Halloween Kills, it, it really follows the story of. Um, it brings back a lot of the old characters from the original Halloween movie, 
You have Tommy Doyle. If you remember, this is a kid that uh, not, pot, not, not played by Paul Rudd. Not played now. by Paul Rudd. What's? Oh yeah, Paul Rudd played <laughs> a played younger Tommy. Tom. Doyle. So you're saying <laughs> that this yeah. baby, uh, yes. who Lori is babysitting, babysitting, correct? Looks like. Paul Rudd eventually when he grows up, and then now and like then guy. turns into Anthony Michael Hall, looks like a penis, <laughs> an old, he's saggy like so penis. old, yeah. yeah. He's I feel, old. well, I feel, I know we're talking about Tommy Doyle they, now. They, they should just kind of <laughs> cast Paul Rudd again. No, 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 because the way Tommy goes in this movie, I don't want to see that. Oh, uh, bro, yeah. bro, 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 with that scene when they come face to face, Tommy Doyle and Michael Myers, I uh-huh. feel like Michael Myers, like you bitch, you kill me in a different time. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy this now. Yeah, <laughs> cause he he got him. He good. did it. Yeah, he got that him was, good, bro. He got him good. That was in uh part four. Or was well, it was yeah. four, right? No, yeah. uh, no, no. With Paul Rudd, was, was was six. Or was five. six. Was six. six. Um, he was he was the last um guy that defeated Michael Myers before H two O. Why why do all these Tommy characters want to kill all these characters? <laughs> like why do they want to kill all? <laughs> like wasn't the guy Tommy from uh Friday Thirteenth too? That was, that, was, that, that was Tommy uh, Jarvis. Jarvis, <laughs> what's his name? It's a Tommy Jarvis. Tom, that's a different Tommy, bro. Dude, there's so many freaking Tommies in these scary yeah, yeah, movies, bro. That's a different. That's a different movie, though. No, no, no. <laughs> so, anyways, we we <laughs> fast forward to the future, forty years into the future. You're introduced to an older uh, Tommy Doyle, who was a kid that Lori Sherwood babysat. Then you're introduced to the nurse that was in the car with Dr. Loomis when they were driving. Same uh, actress, bro. To see. Yep, same actress. Same a- I love that, um, bro. You had Lindsay, who Ooh, was a girl that hot, was the bro. original. Looking hot. Huh? Yep. Oh, she was. Looking is hot. she the original too? That's the same one, bro. Yeah, she was a MILF, bro. She was. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, so, Lindsay was the girl that Tommy had, like, yeah. a little crush on or whatever, or they were babysat by Lori at the same time. Yeah, neighbors. Um, yeah, neighbors. And then you're introduced to Lonnie, who was just a made-up character. No, Never Lonnie's the there. Lonnie's there. No, he wasn't. He was played by a different actor, though. Yeah, he's there. What scene the, was Lonnie in? In the opening scene of the movie when he's running and Michael Myers gra- grabs him and he walks away. Oh, wow. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I, just got a, I just got a drink. I don't know Drinks what it is. Man. Drinks on demand. Drinks on demand. But we'll, we'll see what it is. <laughs> Wait, are you talking about Halloween, the original Halloween? Because I don't remember Alani in the original Halloween movie. Or are you talking yeah, about this movie? Am I, am I getting confused? Am I getting confused? Because there's I, no Alani character uh, like in Halloween. Halloween. Maybe I'm wrong. Hold on. There's I don't not know why. One I, non, I, I, I mean, must have dreamt them. There was a scene where in the begin in the first movie where people are trick or treating. Oh wait, and okay. There is somebody to- named Lonnie in the original movie. Yeah, Brent, that's him. Brent yeah, Lee yeah, Page. Yeah, that's him. That's him. It's Lonnie. It's what does he do? Kid, it, when he's running I, outside, bro, in the school, right, right? All right. So there's a scene where kids running outside. So they kind of expanded on that scene with the bullies now making fun of them. Uh huh. So they show now what, what was happening before the fact that outside, when he goes outside, uh, Michael Myers grabs him. He looks up. He, he gets scared and he runs away. Yeah. That's that's the kid. That's Lonnie. Okay. So we watch the original. I'll allow watch, it. The, watch the scene. I that, don't know why. Played by, played by, by a different actor, but obviously, you know. I'm just saying they probably should have used, used that scene, that original scene, and and kind of like Which, they showed the now other that, scene. Now that you're talking about that, that was something that bothered me the first time I watched this was like, the little flashbacks of like explaining people. Uh huh. Like not not every single one of them because like the the girl that was also babysat. I don't. I would never have remembered who she was. Yeah. But the first movie Tommy, movie. like I know that name because he's like with Lori the entire movie. Baby like they, yeah. yeah. But the girl, like I I maybe would have remembered, but for Lonnie, like you're saying, if if you're gonna do a flashback, do it for that guy because he's completely fucking forgettable from the original right. Halloween movie. Like yeah. I would never have remembered that guy. Which I I honestly don't mind that he is in the movie, but like play that original scene. Play the original clip, yeah. Like they exactly. original like they prefer everybody else, you know what I'm saying? Like it would have been like, okay, cool. Like this character they just made a completely different scene for this guy with a completely right. different actor or actresses in there and it just kind of like took away from oh. them. So I didn't yeah. Well, sorry, hold on. Speaking of different actors, because I think this fits right here. Yeah. I'm going to give you guys an Easter egg, which I don't, I don't think you guys know. On the news, when they're talking about the murders that happened in 78, mm-hmm. they show a picture. You remember the boyfriend, Bob? 
But uh, picture with the guy with the glasses. No. Yeah, yeah. Ben? On the TV. Was it Ben? No, the guy that's sleeping no. with her in the that he has the big ass glasses. Right. He's sleeping with um the other with girl. The other that's girl. like the babysitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. That actor, right? So mm-hmm. they were trying to contact that actor to get the rights from him so they can use his likeness in the movie, in this in this movie. They can't find him. He's not an actor. He's a nobody. So they mm-hmm. can, they, he has no agent. Long story short, dead end. So the director, David, he's like, what the f-? So he just goes online. He searches Bob, whatever, 1978. Boom. He finds that picture we saw. You know who that guy is, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Better call Saul. What do you mean? <laughs> Cabrón, Bob, they contacted oh, Odenkirk? Him. Yes, yes, him. They contacted him. Like, bro, I searched for Bob. You look like this guy from Halloween. Do you mind if we use so your they likeness? Use this picture. And what did Bob say? Hell yeah, I don't care. Do it. That's oh, my story, God. Bro. I did not know that until this morning. See, I did some research, bro. I'm like, that's awesome. I love that. That's so crazy. That's, that's the picture. When you watch it again, look at that flashback, whatever. That's that. That's the this guy, the actor, Bob. John Bob Michael Bob. Graham. That's the original actor. So, yeah, they can't find him. Yeah. So, uh, pff, whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. That's yeah. really so, funny, actually. That's <laughs> so, going back to the movie, we have... We're introduced to these characters again from the past, and they're at a bar. They're celebrating Halloween. Like, hey, uh, I guess every Halloween they go to this bar and uh, cheers to surviving the, the Michael Myers killings. Um, at this point, everybody, and this is Halloween 2018, they put that on the screen. They transpose that on the screen to let you know this is happening at the like right immediately after during the same time as the previous movie. So it doesn't happen in in present day, in present time. Um, So they show the news. They show that uh, two mental patients have escaped. And one of them is, of course, Michael Myers. Nobody knows that yet, uh, but everybody's assuming. Um, We're also introduced to uh, a nurse and a doctor who are dressed up for Halloween, opposite of what they do. So the nurse is dressed as a doctor. The doctor is dressed like a nurse. And this is the couple actually from the original Halloween 2018 movie. Um, Mm -hmm. If you watch that back, you'll see a nurse going into the car or heading to the car. She sees Michael Myers. And then the boyfriend comes out and then they just get in the car together. And Michael Myers spares them. And honestly, now that you mention it, yeah, you you absolutely right. I didn't think about it until now. Yeah, that is them. That's them. I remember. <laughs> I remember the the, the nurse now. <laughs> yep. So I love it. I love, I it. love there these. Was, these there was a lot of backs, continuation. Yeah, yeah like because I rewatched one. the first callbacks. one again. Yeah, callbacks. Yeah. And then if you rewatch this one, like directly after, because that's what I did today, then I was able to tie a lot of. Who was in it? That's why I watched it two times. Because when I watch it in theaters the first night, there's a lot of people that I was like, did did I forget them from the first movie or something? Because they have like a way bigger role right now, and I don't remember them. So, yeah, I definitely recommend watching that the 2018 before this, right? One, for sure, 100. percent Yeah, it's very continuous with that. So that's why I first of all I fell in love with that movie because of that. I just love movies that continue exactly where that last movie started off not mm-hmm. five years later or 20 years later they have a whole new story and then it's like okay h2o the same shit yeah the same shit yeah. is happening again <laughs> um so we're introduced to these characters and then they i think the nurse goes out to the car and finds someone in her car who they assume is michael myers because right they're in a white coat um but of course it is not Michael Myers. It is the other mental patient. Austin so Powers. I, yeah, and I kind of knew it was that person because mm-hmm. when the radio turns on, uh, it plays the Figaro song. And if you watch the original Halloween 2018, the, opening. the person that's locked up, yep, in the opening with the mental, like there's one that's like, Figaro, Figaro, mm-hmm. and... I was like, okay, so that's the other patient. Then you see the umbrella in the car as well. And that's when I knew. I was like, okay, it's like that umbrella guy, the one that has the obsession with the shoelaces and and everything like that. So I loved, again, the continuity from and these throwbacks from the original movie. What's their Uh, interaction when the girl goes in the car is one of my favorites because she's like, 
she turns on the key and then she's like <laughs> sees somebody behind her she runs out she's screaming for her husband she's like he's there michael myers is in the back seat go go look go look and he's like michael myers in the back seat hell no i'm not going in there like i know i'm gonna have like, no yeah like but it's truth. just it's so funny because she's just like nonchalant like go in there and he's like no i'm not fucking going in there and get the fuck out of here <laughs> yeah <laughs> so like, we'll do that yeah no one will do that i'm not gonna do that for my girl sorry. yeah like yep. our car our car's gone sorry we gotta say bye to it <laughs> um so they go inside and get and tommy doyle comes out with <laughs> tommy doyle comes out with the freaking baseball bat that's behind the bar and uh that's he's just, awesome he's trying to be a vigilante with uh this guy with uh michael myers he's like you know what we're survivors and now we're gonna kill michael myers tonight if it's Michael evil myers. dies tonight evil dies tonight yeah so i'm pretty sure i saw that actor at the insurrection day in january 6th at the Capitol. <laughs> oh my God. I saw like Wait, 50 you, of them. Yeah. You know what's funny? When yeah, we get into did. like yeah, talking, when yeah, we get to did. talking about like yeah, our, our views on this shit, I'm going right, to right. bring up something like that. There's yeah. some similarities yeah. there, and I want to tell you. Mm-hmm. There's absolutely, definitely absolutely. Yeah, a couple scenes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, <laughs> then you cut, you cut over to Lori and her daughter, Karen, and the granddaughter. Oh my God, I f- keep forgetting her name. It's um Allison. Allison. Hot thing. Allison. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Hot thing. Yeah, yeah. Um so <laughs> Allison, Karen and Lori are in the back of the of a truck who they flag down at the end of 2018. Let it burn. They're flying they're burn. fling away. <laughs> they're fling away from the scene and there's a bunch of fire trucks and police cars going the opposite way towards Lori's house. Um so she starts screaming like let it burn. Let the motherfucker burn. <laughs> And um, fire trucks go over there and are trying to douse the fire. Let it burn. Um, but it doesn't work. It doesn't happen. <laughs> um, Michael Myers comes, uh, you know, kills some of the firefighters inside the house first. The two firefighters, like normal, like a normal Michael Maybe Myers evil. kills are concerned. Then Michael Myers comes out of this burning house. And there's about 20 firefighters. <laughs> <laughs> They're all like having their axes and nurse in their hand. One has like this freaking saw thing that's <laughs> rawr, rawr. Oh, I'm like, I oh it, shit. Like, I love Michael it. Michael Myers yes. is gonna die. Michael Myers is dead. Nope. Uh, it it turned into a scene from John Wick. I'm gonna say that. All of a sudden, Michael Myers turns into John Wick and is like literally massacring this entire fire department like these firemen who should be you know pretty durable people especially they're 10 or 15 people deep should easily with their weapons take care of michael myers doesn't happen that way michael myers they 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 fucked up though because they had those big ass tanks on their big ass suits they couldn't move that fast (sighs) but they had Myers is just like chilling in his little one-piece suit they right had up, saws, right but I mean, they had so many <laughs> weapons at their disposal. One of them, okay, the first guy that he kills is the guy with the water hose. Like literally, yep. he's, he's <laughs> shooting Michael Myers here. Yeah, yep. like just wetting his chest. Like oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm like shoot him in the freaking face. You he's have like, high pressure hose. Good. Shoot him in the face. No, he, he probably, probably liked too much, bro. He, he was hurt. in a burning house, bro. He probably liked like, it. Oh, oh, yeah. like, oh. Like Michael oh, 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 yes, I'm burning. Oh, oh, oh put me out. <laughs> Burn it, it out. <laughs> I'll just oh add that. It's a clip. <laughs> <laughs> just set the round. Burn it out. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll fix that. So, in post. yeah, we'll fix the post. So. Michael Myers, of course, survives this, and then he goes uh, on to killing. He kills a couple that is a neighbor of Lori. At the same time, Lori goes to the hospital. She was stabbed in the abdomen by Michael Myers in the last movie. So she's in surgery, and Lori mostly, actually the entire movie, stays in the hospital. Um, A lot of people did not like that when I was reading reviews. They're like, hey, whatever. Yep. But yep. it did the tell Halloween a story. Syndrome. Like it still used. It will make sense story. later on. It'll, make sense. It'll exactly. make sense later on. Yeah, yeah. And this is why I'm excited about the next movie exactly. because of how they developed her character as well. Yep. Um, in that whole story. So, Michael Myers is killing, of course, neighbors, and they're trying to figure out like where's he going. 
uh, Lori is hell bent and saying like he's headed here to this hospital. He's coming to get me. He's coming to stalk me. But then they, everybody else is like, no, he like, why do you think he's coming here for you? Why do you think he's obsessed with you? They point out a lot of things like, that's Michael so Myers didn't go to your house because he knew you were there. He was stalking you. The nope. doctor was the one that drove you that, or drove Michael there. It was his intention to give you guys together and keep you guys together as a reunion. So it's not about you, Lori. And that's what we're trying to figure out. What is Michael's motivation at this point for why he is killing? We Even at the end of the movie, we don't really know. But we know that he is moving in a way from he goes from Lori's house and that area of town and makes uh kind of like a, a map, a line, He's straight going line in a, in a straight line back to his to house. His house. It's an arrow his that house. points directly to his house. To home. So yeah. Um Go. so that I actually really like. Like Michael Myers. Uh, when I was watching the first one, I was like, listen, like how is he getting like, why, why is why is he killing? Why is this just a random dude that killed these babysitters? You know, I, I didn't know how I felt about them destroying that whole story from Halloween to the original where it was like Michael Those Myers, siblings, brother, siblings. siblings. Yeah. And, you know, they mentioned in the first in the 2018 version, like, hey, that's just something that someone made up just to make themselves feel better. But they have no relation. It was just a random killer and, uh, guy that, that did that. Yep. Um but we get more, a little bit of motivation of Michael trying to return home, trying to go home. So he's making his way over there. During this time, uh, Tommy Doyle and the rest of the town are now rioting in the hospital. They're Come saying out and play. these cops are not doing their jobs. The, sh- the black sheriff is not doing his job, which I thought was Omar. super racist. Let the guy Thank do his thing. Bro, it's it's all <laughs> So I'm like, let this guy do his job. They don't want it. They're like, no, we're going on vigilante justice. We're going to hunt Michael Myers. We're going to kill him today. Evil dies, dies tonight. tonight. And then we also have another cameo. To die. We also have it another cameo die. by the original sheriff from the original movie. Uh, I think his name was Beckett. Well, sheriff Beckett. Yeah, Beckett. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Beckett is from the original Halloween, the original sheriff there same actor comes back and he's now a security guard at the hospital another throwback to everything that's happening from the original um they're all banding together and they're trying to find michael myers they split up in groups um the first group that we see encounter michael in a random park includes Lindsay, the nurse the doctor and uh the ner- the original nurse like the real nurse from the uh, from the yeah first yeah movie. Uh, I forgot her name Marion was that Marion yeah it could be it the old, Marianne. old lady Marion <laughs> so we got Marion and then the nurse and the doctor whatever they find Michael Myers in a park uh <laughs> and he just murders the shit out of these out of these people like I have no way to explain this. I, I'm just gonna say this is a gore fest. This is probably one of the most gory scenes I have seen in a Halloween movie. This is probably the goriest Halloween movie let's I think go, I've let's seen. Let's go! Let's well. go! No, so, no, 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 no. I'll get back to I'll get back to you with that. Right, go okay, on. get back to me. So <laughs> this one is a is a real gore fest. So if you like the gore, great. If you don't, I don't care. Watch the movie anyways. <laughs> uh, and then of course. It, 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 the action cuts between the groups that's happening, the hospital story that's going on with Lori, and then Michael himself. Michael with his trek on going home. And on his way home, we find that there are people living in the Myers house in his old childhood home. We're introduced to Big John and Little John, who the real are, the real stars of the movie, the real stars of this yeah. movie. I, <laughs> I love them completely. Uh, one of them is played by one of the actors from uh, Mad TV. He plays. Uh, oh, I heard about that. Uh, yeah, the, the, uh, Michael Little John. Little John. John. Yeah, Little John is is, is in there. John, from John. Mad TV. The uh, he plays Stuart from Mad TV. If you remember all those Stuart videos of like, oh no. Stop. His name is Michael McDonald, though. Michael oh, McDonald. Yes. That. 
Like, what the hell? Yes. So Michael McDonald uh, plays Little John. And then the other guy, I don't know his name, but I know he is an actor in The Righteous Gemstones. If you've ever seen that show, that stars Danny McBride. They actually work together on oh, that show. That's so that's where it. their connection is from. Yeah, yeah. But I love that guy in Righteous Gemstones. If you haven't seen that movie or that show yet, you Bro, need to fucking were, watch it. They were not that long in this movie, and they were they were so likable. Yeah, like that, that couple was so likable. Right? Apparently, same, he was on Mad TV too. He was oh, like really? an actor on Mad TV know. at one point. Yeah. Same thing, same thing with that old couple, bro. Like, like I, it just shows you like how they were written so perfectly. Like, I yeah. wanted to see more, more. I wanted to see more of that old couple, bro. That, that they were so in cool. the beginning. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you skipped through that, but I'm like, ah, oh, with the drone. Man. They were trying to find yeah. the drone and stuff like that. Yeah, it was a sp- um, funny conversation, funny banter. A hundred percent, yeah. And I'm glad yeah. they kept that because in the original Halloween 2018 version, they had the kid uh what was his he, name he, he's back he julian yeah he's back in the in the moves on the little little asshole kid little asshole kid yeah <laughs> no yeah, i, I love, love that, game, that kid like it's when you watch reaction. that movie again oh, i shit. love it yeah like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that kid is hilarious so i'm glad they kept some of that humor um mm-hmm. with different characters obviously mm-hmm. um in the sequel here because it, you kind of need that to be honest yeah. to kind of like take Easting away from down. all the heavy stuff yeah to ease the tension yeah exactly so uh little john and big john of course are living in the house and they uh are you know going through the halloween stuff that's happening there's a lot of stuff that happens with them which i which i love like they scare away trick-or-treaters and they're just assholes to other people too Um, but they're a gay couple together they don't really act (laughs) gay together but they (laughs) they're just like doing shit just at home yeah yeah, yeah. for michael to come home um which Michael eventually does. He makes it to his childhood home. Uh, Little John and Big John, just to let you know, spoiler alert, they do not make it. They do not make it through the, uh, <laughs> through the killings. However, hey, 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 but Michael Myers gave him a nice death. Very artsy. Correct. Very artsy. artsy death. Hey. Correct. There's a photograph that's on the desk. He's woke. That, woke. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's a photograph on the desk with them two posing, like one laying in the lap. And Michael Myers decides to recreate that photograph. Uh, with them dead, of course, but still laying in the same area. I think, honestly, one of the best deaths of the entire movie, which we'll get into that after, later. All yeah, right. I got I got to think about yeah. the deaths again. I got, I got one that's my favorite. I got one that's my favorite, but yeah, go on. Yeah, when we get to it, you let me know. All right, all right. Um, and of course, Little John and Big John, they're sitting around eating a uh, charcuterie boy. And, you know, Michael Myers is like banging the back door, banging in the front door. So they grab knives. What a troll, bro. It's a troll. <laughs> they grab knives. And, of course, uh, Little John or Big John grabs the charcuterie knife, which is about this big, <laughs> this big of a knife. And he's like, <laughs> he's like I have a knife. Bro, <laughs> and bro, then bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Little <laughs> the John knife. grabs the butcher knife. He's like, I also have a knife. <laughs> they're just they're just trying My, to protect themselves. Michael, when he grabbed that little knife, I know this is gonna be a, su- a super obscure reference, but mm. that so reminded me of you might get this reference from I still know what you did last summer when she grabs the knife and the and the funny black guy is like, w- 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 so wait, we're gonna do it. Are you gonna butter him up? <laughs> are you, oh are you gonna God. butter him up? Because yeah. it was a little, it's a, a, it's little a small butter. knife. Yeah, I forgot what his name, the actor, but you know what I'm talking about. I'm like, yeah. what the hell? Are you gonna butter him up? I'm wondering when if I they got that, that like inspiration from that scene because I mean that's because pretty funny. It was, a, it was a funny line. It's it a little like, line. the baby knife. Like, what are you gonna do with that? Like, like okay. Which they didn't have a, a line like that, but I like the whole thing. Like, I have a knife, and then he was like, I have a knife too, <laughs> but a bigger I have, knife. I have a knife. A knife. A knife. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So they're great, great characters on that. Um. Then, of course, Tommy is is still trying to get these groups together, and and there's and they go on this hunt. Uh, this original psycho patient that they found at the bar is this, he makes his way to the hospital because he wants help. Um, we get some emotional scenes with Karen, who's Lori's daughter, and this guy because they realize this is not Michael Myers. Everybody in the hospital sees this guy in a white gown and they're like, that's Michael. We need to get him. Evil dies tonight. And they're just all screaming and chanting. And it's like uh, the scene from Beauty and the Beast when they're trying to freaking kill the beast in the village. Like same thing mm-hmm. with pitchforks and, we'll and, kill the and beast. torches and all this. Yeah. Kill the beast. Bro, they should have done a musical, bro. They should have done a musical right there. <laughs> I mean, it's That would have been, been great. Evil dies tonight. All night. <laughs> um, so there's this scene that like Karen is trying to stop the group and like you see this human side to her because through all these two movies up to this point, she's been like a real 
like idiot. I I've never liked her as a character. Like she's all about, Oh, you know, I don't want to be, uh, don't tell me about evil in this world. I, I need happiness. Like, like mom, I can't have you in this house until you get help. Like a real asshole to her. Mom. The truth is like, it's be because she's a Karen. Correct. Well, her and name, all Karen's Karen. 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 And she's a Karen. Yes. All Karen suck. So don't be a Karen. You know, just don't <laughs> not be a all Karen. Karens. Not all Karens. I, 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 there is one Karen I really like. <laughs> well, so she's well, cool. well, I used to know a Karen. Oh, yeah. And she, so, and she sucked. And she, and she sucked, sucked too. too? Okay. <laughs> so all these Karens just suck. Um, so this Karen, uh, she has a human moment with the psychopath, like finds him and is like, hey, listen, I'm not going to let anything happen to you. I know these people are trying to come get you and basically kill you. They think you're Michael Myers and you're not. So I'm going to save your life. So she locks him up in this hallway and stands in front of the door and the big mob comes up there and they're still screaming and yelling and chanting and Tommy is there and he's leading the charge. Steal the boat! Steal the boat! (laughs) Until he, yeah, basically, (laughs) steal the boat. (laughs) <laughs> steal the vote steal the vote oh so God. basically he leads these insurrectionists into the hospital and they're trying to <laughs> to kill crazy Joe Biden uh, psychopath over there oh my God. and uh, <laughs> crazy Joe they're trying crazy to kill him sleepy Joe, Benito, sleepy bro, Joe. yeah this guy was sleepy, sleepy man Joe. he just wanted to go sleep he was- <laughs> hey, <what's> he <laughs> <Benito>, bro. <laughs> so Karen's like, this is not Michael Myers. This is not him, you know? And then it's a little too late. Uh, Sleepy Joe decides to go out onto the balcony <laughs> of the hospital window <laughs> and uh, commit suicide. And they realize, right. yeah, uh, what uh, I miss. I, I don't, I don't want to go back. No, you're good. You're good. I, I just don't want to go back to this scene. I, I just thought it was kind of stupid, though, how they, the, Tommy Doyle was like, oh, how do you not know it's Michael Myers? You would never see him under the With mask. a mask, Ca- yeah. Cabrón, have you seen Michael Myers' height? Have yeah. you seen the way he walks? The way he walks. This yeah. little fat guy, bro, penguin-looking guy. Yeah, penguin. I He's mean, penguin. <laughs> that's bro. what I thought. I was like, yo, it's penguin. Bro, that's like, okay, that, that that's comparing Bane bit. and penguin. Like, and one penguin, of them is Bane, the other one is penguin. That's you, it. Know, you, don't, you don't need a mask to know who's who. The body, the body figure will tell, will let you know. Yeah. And when they they were arguing about that's Michael Myers, I'm like, okay, that scene kind of threw me off a little bit. But I'm like, that whatever. Entire, that it. entire story was was a piece of piece of waste for me. Like personally, I wrote that down. Like it was a, mm-hmm. it was a really big part of the movie that I didn't like. Mob, I remember mob, I watched yeah. it the first time, and I watched it again, and I was like, it's. I still equally was like. I understand the point and the premise of trying to get people to go against each other because that's what they're yes. going Making into. Is like chaos and all that. Now yeah, you yeah. guys are the monsters. You're attacking mm-hmm. each right. other. But at the same time, like if he's already killing your family members and your friends, you should already be aggressive and upset anyways. Like you don't have to. That whole storyline just didn't make any any fucking sense to me. Yeah. Like. There's yeah, some questionable ways. things I was like, ah, yeah. I don't know about it, but I understood where, like you said, where they were going with it as far as like showing the us theme, humans symbolic, being monsters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. exactly. And then the, uh, the speech that Lori is doing, like the voiceover while things are happening in the very final scene, it also connects to that whole um, scenario. So that part, well. Exactly. Yeah. So, thing, I mean, yeah. I can appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? I think it was useless, but yeah, I can appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, anyways, Tommy, you know, kills the wrong person, and, or they make the well, the, the well, dude kill himself. So been they don't, bro. That was disgusting, dude. Bro, that was a uh, gross death, too. It was actually. gross. Yeah. It was very oh, gory oh. as well. They show a lot of shit yeah. on that. So, um, then Karen is like, you know, sad about it, obviously, and then tells Tommy, like, hey, like, take me to Tom, to, to Michael Myers. Take him, let's go to his house because he's there. Like, she knows at that point, like, okay, Michael is there. Michael's going to his original house. Let's all go together and uh, just drop me off, basically. Just Let's go on the right. We're, we're, we're led to believe that it's just Tommy and Karen going together in the car. And, of course, that, that's not the case later. Um, but, anyways, at the house, you have Lonnie, right? Lonnie and Cameron, yeah. which is... His son and that was the girlfriend the Allison. That was so they <laughs> they end up at Michael Myers' house, where of course the uh, little John and Big John, the Johns, are dead, but Michael Myers is still there. <laughs> the Johns and uh, <laughs> Michael John. Myers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I yeah, actually, okay. I actually okay. wish okay. they would have called them Little John. That little John, even better. <laughs> little John. <laughs> little John. Yay. Yay. Um, <laughs> okay. 
That needs to be like a SNL skit, like For in sure. the future, like easily. Little John, bro. Big John, I gotta. Go. Little John. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? Like what? <laughs> okay. I'm just here. What? Michael Myers okay. is here. What? Okay. Hello, okay. bro. <laughs> so um, random. I know. <laughs> so <laughs> all three of them end up at the house, and then Lonnie, the dad, he's like, "Hey, I'm gonna go in by myself. You guys stay here and keep the car safe." Stupid move. Uh, of course, because they're all they all have guns. Very, like the more guns, mm-hmm. you, the the better. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. they hear a gunshot, and the two teenagers go in. They're like, "Hey, we got to find you, my dad, because we heard a gunshot, and Michael Myers is here somewhere." So there's like tense moments, of course, with uh, which I've also read reviews of people that are like, "Oh, this is not a suspenseful movie." I'm like, "Well, mm-hmm. this scene in particular was kind of suspenseful when they're in the closet, like about to open the closet." They're like this heavy breathing that dude. You can yeah, feel, they're like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So basically like that. <laughs> and then they shoot a pumpkin, and it's you know it's not Michael Myers. Obviously, it's a yeah, distraction. Yeah, yeah. They go upstairs, yeah. check out the rest of the house. That's where they find the Johns laying together uh, in a precarious position, just like their photograph. Um, Cameron <laughs> finds his dad squished up in an attic. His face just. Smash Lonnie, bro. I can't believe they Piper did that. Lonnie, yeah, Lonnie just got fucked up. So hell yeah, bro. So hell yeah, bro. Um, and then Michael, of course, shows up and attacks the teenagers. Uh, continues to attack Cameron and uh, what's her name, I, Allison? By the way, that's my favorite death. The Cameron. Right oh man, that was intense, bro. Mm-hmm. That was probably one of the the grossest. That was disgusting. Actually, not even and gross. Long. Like they no, didn't show a lot it wasn't of gore. Like, it was I'm gonna just, change your mind so by slow. the end of this podcast. So it, was it was a just so slow, slow death. Like this one, it felt personal. This yeah. death felt personal. I don't know why. I was like, why? Well, why well I know why. I know why. Because he he's cheated. a piece of shit because, to because the girl. He cheated. Yeah. he cheated on her. That's it. That's why. Exactly. <laughs> he's like, you cheater, cabrón. Cabrón. Ahora. <laughs> so cheating, yeah, cheating never gets you anywhere except yeah. Michael Myers to your house. In a horror, in a horror movie, bro, you're done. Yeah, you're yeah. done. That was oh, he got fucked up. Yeah. death, yeah, for sure. And Allison was the one, like, she was saying, Michael, come after me, you know, like, trying to distract him. And he was not oh. having it. He was oh. not having it whatsoever. Mike, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Alex, Alex, I know which one's your favorite death. Because it's probably also my second favorite death. The knives. Ooh. No, not even, not even. God, are you Benito. serious? Benito. No. That was also that, that it is part, a that, it is a good part, part like hurt me that part hurt me because sound, what's going on yeah first yeah. of all the sound is amazing like each knife he picks up you just hear like shunk, like a yeah. sword kind of and then he just like, like, he takes it off the wall and then <laughs> yeah bro, like and the girls watching the whole thing yeah, yeah the wife yeah. no that's, that's a good death but that's, I'm telling you wait till okay, wait till okay, yeah. fine. all right, wait, all right. Wait, I, I thought that was yours my bad all right, no, all right no, go, no, on, no. go on go on go on so we have Allison of course trying to get Michael down from from killing the boyfriend but michael myers not having it he finishes it he finishes cameron off like he's a freaking butt face so michael myers then stalks uh the daughter downstairs and then he's about to like stab her which i love this scene too yeah he's about oh yeah to stab her and she's like do it like allison's like do it do it just do it and I, you think that she's talking to Michael, but behind Michael in the front door is Karen, the mom, and she's and she's Mommy. like, "Do it!" And then stabs freaking Michael Myers with a pitchfork. Once, <laughs> once, <laughs> so just and one then stomps time. on his face, and one then time. stomps on his face just well, once. Well, then yeah. it grabs it grabs his own knife and stabs him in the back too. Does that's it? later. That's no, later. Yeah, that's later. That's later on. No, 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 no. That that's that's in not the on, same. Not on that scene. No, 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 no. Yeah, on no. the stairs. No, nope. bro. She bro, takes his mask. The she takes fork? his mask off. No, no, no. Before, be- wait, hold on. Before that's nothing. Before that, yeah, yeah. There's nothing. Yeah, because I just saw it. Bro, I just watched pitch it. Yeah, in the back. yeah. Pitch pitch in, the back. in the back. He's hits, down. Hits him, hits him in the back with with her leg on his head. No, on the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's and, it. Then, and then for good measure, grabs a knife, stabs him in the back, his own knife, but then and no. then grabs his mask. No, no, no. There's no stabbing yet. There's <laughs> Don't no stabbing stab me. Yet. Wait, wait, wait. Somebody, no stabbing stabbed yet. Him. She, Somebody stabbed him with his own knife, though. At the at the last scene, bro, the last fight scene that he has, that he goes John Wick again. John Wick chapter <laughs> two. <laughs> so oh, in this scene. Oh, in the 
the streets, in the yes. streets of, of Harlem or Harlem. Of Harlem, bro. Yeah, yeah. Street oh, justice. Okay. of Haddonfield, bro. I, uh, I hit that back with the yeah. knife. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so in this, in this scene, she stabs him with a pitchfork, stomps on his head once with her little uh, size <laughs> five foot. That's, That's five. Probably, Yeah, with her 100 pound frame. Shoe. Stomps on him. Yeah, yeah, basically like that. And then grabs the grabs the mask. You're all right on that. She grabs the mask yeah. and she's talking to Michael Myers and like because I think Michael Myers gets up and then grabs the daughter or was gonna attack the daughter again. Well, it was so going Karen, probably, so yeah, yeah. So Karen has a mask, she's like, You feel it, you want it, come get it. And then runs away and, and then starts going running through houses while Mike Michael is walking fast after her. Uh she drops the mask in the middle of the street. We don't know why. Mm. And then all of a sudden, as soon oh, as he I knew goes, why. I knew why. <laughs> as soon as he goes there to gotcha. the mask, you see these lights. You see trucks coming up and pulling up on them. You think it's the cops, but it's not. It's Tommy Doyle and the January Six Insurrectionists all come together <laughs> to go get Michael Myers. <laughs> uh, Karen, of course, is like, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha, bitch. Oh and then, bro, bro, Karen got him, got him, get, Karen twice, got him twice. 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 In the first one. Because in the first one, <laughs> I love that. I love that. Yeah, in the first one, she's downstairs. I can't do it. I can't and she's do like, it. Oh, I can't do it, Mom. I can't do it. And then she sees Michael, and then her face changes like, gotcha. Poo. Shoot him. <laughs> Shoot him right in the cheek. She, I love dude, it. He hates her. He hates her, bro. It. Yeah. He's like, gotcha. Everybody gotcha. hates gotcha. a Karen, bro. Again, Karen, yeah, Karen's a liar. That's why <laughs> Karen lies. <laughs> so Michael That's Myers great. is then there, surrounded by twenty people again, kind of like the fireman scene. But these are all uh, uh, villagers of Haddonfield. They're all there with bats and knives and clubs and and, and more bats guns, and whatever and guns and guns. <laughs> uh, so. This feels like the end of Michael Myers. Like they're gonna fuck this guy up. <laughs> they're gonna fuck him up. So with no loop. First of all, here's their their, their one mistake. Yeah. They allowed Michael Myers to pick up his mask and put it back on. They don't know that that's like his superpower. As soon as he puts that mask on, I, lo- I bro, love it. Though, it's that's like I Friday, it, Friday the Thirteenth vibes, bro. A hundred percent. Yeah, I'm like Jason mask. Yeah. Like, I, I mask, like, yeah. When he put his mask mm-hmm. on, I'm like, oh, here we go, here yeah. we go. So it's like shit, man. Why would you guys fucking do that? Hey, but so anyways, they still got him though. They got him. They still, yeah. They they freaking beat him down. One of them, <laughs> one of them, I think, goes to shoot him, and like Michael Myers, like just swats it away, and then he shoots himself. He's like, oh, and then he. But then he pursues to shoot Michael five times. I'm like, okay, oh, he's oh, redeemed oh. himself. That's great. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh, you mean like that girl With shot the herself? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Shot <laughs> but yeah, this time they redeemed herself. And then they end up, you know, beating Michael Myers down for what feels like an eternity and stuff like that. And we're like, yes, this is great. And then Tommy says to Karen, like, hey, we got this. Go be with your daughter. And before she leaves, Karen then grabs a knife, like Omar was saying, and stabs Michael Myers right in the freaking back of his neck, basically. So yeah, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. well, he's obviously dead or dying. Continue to beat up on Michael Myers. Mistake number two. This is the second thing that pissed me off, like within that first, that within that like five minute period where it was just like mm-hmm. the one pitchfork stab by Karen and then all these guys, they just beat him up like a couple times like uh, uh, uh. they all get like one shot like Bro, a pinata and they think it's like he's done i'm like you don't stop until you see a pool of blood around his body like why are you stopping you continue decapitate bro cut his yeah. head off and and you have to chop his head off his That's arms it. off his fingers off everything his mm-hmm. penis everything just chop chop it all <laughs> off his power anything that swings that can yep. swing is powerful, including his dick. Get, get, get so rid of it. Chop it all off. Just get, <laughs> get it. Get rid of it. Get out of here. Just fling it somewhere else. Burn it. Burn it to the ground. <laughs> Burn it down. And then just that. That's that. But they stopped, and they're like, "All right, Karen, go ahead. Go, go, We're go done. with your family. Yeah, yeah. Go, go with your daughter. We got this. Go with your daughter. Yeah, we got like, this. No, no, you don't. No, you don't. So at this time, you kind of we get this flashback. Um, Lori and Frank, who is the we we don't talk much about them because they're having their own story in the hospital, kind of going through the emotions of like, hey, it's my fault that Michael's still alive. It's my fault that Michael Myers is created. So there's a lot of backstory going on with those two. Um, towards the end, of course, Lori 
is she has this monologue talking about evil and talking about if they don't kill him tonight, the strength is, you know, every kill that he, that he makes transcends him past like a human ability. So she's going through this whole monologue talking about this monster and Michael Myers is while we're waiting for Michael Myers to really like die. Like we're thinking this is the final monologue of Michael Myers. But as she continues to go through this monologue, you notice she's talking up Michael Myers. And while she's doing this, Michael Myers is then, I don't know. He walks out. He pulls a Hulk Hogan. <laughs> just freaking well, no. Well, hold on. well, in that same scene, when she's giving the monologue to the, to the police officer. Yeah. She, she clues you in. Mm-hmm. And she says that Michael Myers, if he was human, he would have been dead a long time ago. A long ago. time ago, yeah. He's, he, so he's not mortal. Correct. Mortal. So that right there, the way, because remember, this is a different timeline. Mm-hmm. So they're kind of mixing the old timelines with the new timeline, whatever. So obviously, we have to pretend that, yeah, Michael Myers was was human one time. But eventually, the devil, evil, something possessed him. The humans, His human soul, was he's been dead since 78. But the demon, something took over. And that's what's kind of an, animating his body all the way to now. That's how, that's, that was kind of like the model of what, how I saw her, her message. That's how I, that's how I received it. And then you know, I interpreted it as more of Because he's not like, human. I just feel like they were saying, yeah, like he's not human as far as like his soul. And not necessarily possession, but just his right. pursuit of, uh, you know, going home. What he did yeah, to yeah, his yeah, sister. Yeah. They reference uh-huh. his sister a lot. You know, Judy yeah. Myers. And there, Myers. when she was like, when he was six years old, he killed his sister. They bring mm-hmm. that. And as, as far as evil, they talk about evil a lot. You know, evil dies tonight or whatever. When they bring up uh, Loomis and how he felt about Michael, he's like, there's nothing human about him. Like, he's no. evil. He's the pure evil. Mm-hmm. We just need to destroy him. I want to be yeah. there when you guys destroy Michael Myers. Like he has to, right. he has to die. He has to die. Right. Which of course doesn't happen with, with Loomis alive. Um, so anyways, uh, Lori is just doing this monologue and then Michael Myers comes back and takes on all these guys by himself and women, <laughs> men and women alike. John Wick, you just see these different camera angles of him just slashing people uh him just taking people by the necks by the throats using their weapons against them blah 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 they're going at him one at a time first of all they yeah. should have all just like i'm like realistically <laughs> you all should just gang gang bang, gang bang, gang bang yeah gang bang. um but instead they do it like like a WWE running, which is like one person at a time trying to hit the one guy, <laughs> you know, like, oh, the rock is back up. The rock is going to take on the entire shield, the entire Royal Rumble and just one at a time. I'm like, no, just gang bang them. It's fine. Just get them in there. They didn't do that. They decided no to do loop. one at a time, which made for good, like good shots and good drama and stuff like that. As far as the monologue mm-hmm. was concerned and, and the, the, the way that it looked. Yes, sir. I loved it. You know what I'm saying? Then you get the final uh, kill on in that scene with Tommy Doyle. So RIP Tommy. He's he goes after Michael Myers. And then I love this shot that they have where Michael and Tommy, like when Tommy is dying, like he gets stabbed. Face to face. They're face to face. And he's like looking right into those dark eyes of the mask. Oh, you yeah. can't see Michael's mask or Michael's eyes. You right, see right. the black black holes and they're like dancing it's like a dance like you literally see them just like oh, slow motion just like looking at each other like oh kiss him kiss him um Hi, Bobby. <laughs> and i love that i love that shot of it um so then you cut to the house and karen is at the house with um her, her daughter obviously and she looks up and throughout the whole movie, they're talking about Michael and how he stared out the window of his sister's window to look at Haddonfield, to look at the city, to, you know, they're like, what was he thinking? What was he there? So to me, I'm like, listen, this spot is haunted. You don't want, you don't want to fuck around with like Michael Myers house or that, that window at all. But she sees a reflection in the window of, uh, who was it? Was it the clown? Was it Michael Myers as a as a kid or who was it? Yeah, yeah, it's Michael Myers as a kid. As a kid it, it, in the clown the outfit, yeah, yeah, right, in the clown like outfit, the original. Yeah, yeah. It's also a throwback to the original. Um, die clown. Movie. 
<laughs> so she goes upstairs and she feels like this she breathes in and whatever and she's in this spot was, where michael myers reflection. was i'm like oh this is interesting this reflection and um the the monologue laurie is still going through is is talking about reflection like looking in the mirror and uh, you know as far as like evil is concerned and from behind her michael myers <laughs> appears again mm-hmm. I, don't know how, I don't know how but he did it i know how because he transcended. no he transcended. they were in the front of the house no i know, the front I door. know. I just thought, like, nobody heard anything nobody saw anything. he went through the back door like it's easy yeah, I, oh, it's like oh, little john sure. big john well, they, they established that earlier <laughs> the john there's a good door a front door back door whatever yeah, back they went door. through the back door so michael <laughs> michael myers goes up and proceeds to really murder karen like she gets stabbed uh, uh, multiple amount of times. Like she's not going to be in the next movie. Does, does she really get stabbed? No, she does. Times? Oh yeah, she well, does. I mean, she gets stabbed I, I, in the hand. She gets stabbed everywhere, bro. It's a lot of slashes. slashes. Yeah, no, I, I know, but but his stabs were deep to her. Like I thought it was going to be. It was more like ka 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 and fall on the floor. You know what I'm uh, she's not going to be in the next movie. I That's mean, all I know. Probably not. But then again, I thought probably the sheriff yeah. was not going to be here, and he's back. So I mean, That's fine. I, you know, I'm just where, saying where we're going with this. Is that that is the final scene? Karen dies, and it sets up the next installment of Halloween, the trilogy, the ending of the trilogy, which for me is going to be an epic conclusion of just revenge. Of I knew going into this, I was like, listen, there's no way Tommy Doyle and his gang of insurrectionists are going to no. kill freaking. <laughs> uh, Michael Myers, like that's Michael not Michael Myers. No. The kill belongs to Lori or Lori's family. Just something, a Strode kill that has to happen. It's not going to be one of these random characters. A Doyle, a Doyle, a Doyle rules. A Doyle rules. Yeah. rules. <laughs> it's not going to be a Doyle. <laughs> but but oh, but one thing uh, I don't know if you I, don't, I think you, you you skipped it, Mike. Was the part where they com- they confirmed uh to Lori that this has never been about Lori and Michael Myers. Correct. Yeah. She was just another person that it, whatever happened to her, it impacted whatever happened to her with Michael Myers impacted her life. But for Michael Myers, that was a Tuesday. Correct. You know, you know that was she's she's a, she's another person. And she just noticed that that remember it was the doctor that got him together in the first movie. Yeah, I didn't I mention mean, that. Yeah, that she he not drove the first movie, but the second, the, the 18, right. Yeah. Right. He drove so, Michael Myers to the house. It was just he wanted to he see wanted what to see what would happen them, them to, together, correct? Whatever. So as we know, she's not important. He, it's all about the damn house. But now, after now, Karen yep. died, mm-hmm. it's finally become for real personal. Now it's personal. Now yeah. it's now it's personal. So uh, no, you yeah. know what it you know what it means. It means evil died. <laughs> evil died. Karen died tonight. Oh, 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 and oh, all the insurrection has oh, died, which oh, is oh, the best. Part of this Ooh. fucking movie for me, <laughs> bro. So, that's well, right. well, they, well yeah. they also said they also said that uh, um, Halloween ends. It's not going to take place a second after. It's taking place on 2022. Correct. So like a, it's, uh, a few it's years be later. Four, yeah. four, four years, years later. after the last one, bro. Three years later. So I mean, I mean, what, wherever he went, so it's going to be a post-COVID world for Halloween. It's going to be, yeah, they'll wear masks. <laughs> it's going to be, I, whatever he went to hibernate after after kills. I went, he went to hiding, but I guess he goes to hiding because you know it's that's four years later, bro. And then it's one of those things so, like where, like, why does he come back out? Or well, does we'll he find not out, come but, back out? But no, I don't think he does. I think it's probably her looking for him. Looking for him, yeah. Like it's, they're tracking him down. And, and I think what I, I like it though, because it allows the the granddaughter, um, Lonnie, mm-hmm. for her, her the actor to heal, so she can maybe the grandma can you wait. Know, Allison, uh, not Lonnie. Allison, yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm not Lonnie. Sorry about that, Allison. <laughs> <laughs> Lonnie, Lonnie's long gone. He's Lonnie, yeah, Lonnie's bro. dead. Yeah, Lonnie's he, dead. He's and and Cameron's a whole deal. Camera scene, <laughs> camera's face off. Yeah. No, but um, but at least the Allison, she could train with the grandma, so we can see character evolutions for the next one. You know what I'm saying? So it's not taking place on the same night. This so is basically, I think it's it allows for that. It reminds me of Infinity War and Endgame. Yeah, like, this is gonna be the end game of it. Like years, years later. later, years yeah. later, here's what happens, and now we're going after fucking Thanos, and then gonna kill him. Basically. That's yeah. it, which is backwards. Normally, he's the one going going for them. Correct. Now they're that's going, going for him. Yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah that's, that's, that, that's where we're at. It works, bro. Well, I'll take it. It's oh. it's it's a it's a formula that worked for Marvel, so it'll work for 
Michael Myers. But Why not? I've never seen Michael Myers um, so strong uh, so in a movie. St- what was that? So strong. So strong. So strong. Oh, I masculine Bobby. in the movie. Well, we've, uh, this seen guy, that. Yeah. we've seen that before. It just It's a terrible version, though. We saw a strong Michael Myers in the Rob, Rob Zombie, Zombie. Rob- Rob Zombie movies, yeah. but for me, those never happen. But the body count was just a lot different because I was um, I was counting yeah. the bodies from the first. No, movie, no, no, no. Like this one's more ridiculous. This one's more and ridiculous. This one, bro. Yeah, it's <laughs> the body count between both these movies are. This more is insane. The, this is no. This is the highest of all Halloween. Of the body count, yeah. That's because he sure. turned to John that, Wick, bro. He turned. He he had two John Wick scenes, bro. But that's the, the firefighters and the insurrectionists. The fans wanted to see that Michael Myers killing people. Yeah. So, so that's what yeah. we got. There you go. Uh, Alex, what was your favorite kill? Did you say it finally or no? Did no. I skip over it? Yeah, it, you did. It, it was the gun. It was the gun, wasn't it? No, bro. No. Damn it. The best kill of this ah. entire fucking movie is Big John when he dies. Tell me you don't remember Big John's death. Yeah, he gets stabbed on the freaking armpit. And oh, then he gets though. freaking. I think I his oh, eyes. The, and the oh, eyeyeball I think. Oh, the fucking squished in. I squished in. Dude. It was like amazing '80s cheesy practical effects. Oh like, yeah. yeah, everything yeah, I fucking yeah, was, needed was, in a movie. Good. Like I, I love it. They're all good. A lot of no, they, is good. there are some great ones. I'm not gonna say like I think overall the title says it all. You know, it's Halloween Kills. kills. So kills. the whole premise of this movie Murdering. Murdering. is just him. <laughs> like, because if you watch the first one, I, I was rewatching and think, kind of comparing them. The first one's more like. Lori sort of getting her her side of the story and somewhat revenge on Michael, right. but then he comes now he's coming back with a fucking vengeance. Like oh, he's now pissed. you he's try pissed. to burn me down in this fucking house, like I'm that's I'm coming why, for yeah. you. You know that's why that's why I think he stabbed like twenty times that old Ben. That was yeah. like his wasn't that his first kill after he after the, well no 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 after the fireman that was his first kill right yeah yeah exactly so yeah there you go he's back he's, he's back he's back he's doing what, what he wants to do. Yeah, yeah basically. Yeah. Yeah. But again, it's one of those things where we said he's not going after after Lori. No. He's still even after all this time, it's just a coincidence. It's like these people that are related to him or related to Lori, they're in it because they're related to Lori. Like everybody has a story together, you know what I'm saying? Against the Michael town Myers. is a small town, so everyone's small town all too. connected. Yeah, if that would if that would have happened to me, bro, and I would have lived in that town, I would have get the I would have moved out. <laughs> out of that town a long time ago, bro. Or five. Or why would I stay in that town? You can, this is, this is, hey, what's it called? Hey, Haddonfield? Haddonfield. Haddonfield, yeah. This is Haddonfield. We, we, we have to protect the town. I'm like, no, you don't get the hell out of here. Go to Hawaii. <laughs> Go to Chicago. It's right down the street, bro. Go to Chicago, bro. Go somewhere else, bro. Like, what are you doing? No, Chicago, <laughs> man, they have, they have a candy man. So they probably don't want to go to Chicago. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, and that's it's too true. cold, too. Yeah, you're right. It's too cold, yeah. <laughs> uh, so this movie overall, it's gotten some mixed reviews uh, by people outside of the community. If you're a Halloween fan, like a lot of us are, um, it could go either way. Either you really like this movie or you really did not care for it. I know um, why half of them didn't like it. I don't, that's, I don't know why. That's I, I need some insight on this. So, yep. what what do you think? What are you hearing on the on these forums and by these fanboys that claim they're fanboys? I feel like it's getting like a Star Wars treatment as far as like the new trilogy was concerned. I feel like there's a lot of people that think. First of all, I was reading some reviews and I'm like, everybody's apparently a critic on this on this fucking movie, and a lot of them don't have a leg to stand on. They're just like horrible writing horrible directing horrible shots horrible dialogue i'm like what do you want and they and they're like oh it's the same shit as every freaking halloween movie if they changed halloween if they changed michael myers and his story and his premise and didn't connect it to anything then you'll be complaining about that like oh they changed michael myers oh yeah, they'll be like, ooh, Rob Zombie. I don't know what he did. Ooh. The people that complain about Rob Zombie movies are now complaining about these new movies. And they're like, oh, Rob Zombie did a better job. I'm like, you no, wait, 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 boss, boss, boss. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Because I hated Rob Zombie movies. And I there's people appreciate... that really like them. There's people I, that really because, like them. because they're probably disgusting. Now I, I I own the first I own the first Halloween movie by Rob Zombie. Burn that. Burn that. I I liked it. I <laughs> aspects of it like I I liked the aspect of it I really did um 
but it's over the top. You know, with Rob Zombie, you it's know what you're just, getting with a Rob Zombie movie. It, I just feel like it's a. Tr- it, I feel like I'm watching trash when I well, watch. There are those some movies. good, like one good moment from those movies. I would say is like the Daniel Trejo's character. Well, like, well, yeah, like, like, that's Danny Trejo, bro. The I person mean. that takes care of him. Yeah, and you yeah. start feeling for like this relationship uh, they develop. Mikey, uh, Mikey, I like yeah. you, Mikey. Mikey. I love you. And then he and then kills him, like, and then it's like, oh, yeah. damn, like you feel bad because you're like, bro, shit, like I, I just don't, I like the script, especially the script for the second one, Halloween two. Oh, I hated that one Be- because I feel every character in that movie. They talk like Rob Zombie. Like he didn't every, wanna. He didn't like, wanna do the second one though. He he no, came out I, and said, "I know, I know, no, like, I heard, I heard about the whole backstory." I only wanted and all that. to do one, and that was and, it. And I know. And then they Hollywood came to him, and then blah blah blah. Yeah, I remember. Uh, if actually, he did one, were, I think it would have been fine. But there was it, a couple yeah. scripts out there, and he saw it, and he was so pissed at the scripts that he said, "You know what? F it. I'm, I'll do it myself." Mm. And I'm like, I mean, whatever. It is what it is. But bro, you can tell it's a Rob Zombie movie because those scripts. He he wiped his ass with it, and literally, bro, every character, he, he, they talk the same. Have you noticed that with the Hollywood movies with Rob Zombie? He has every the same character, type it's dialogue. F this, for, F yeah. that, yeah. F this, F that. And if you watch like the director's cut, um, the way they put, they portray the woman is disgusting. Like, I mean, it's this like very gross, um, offensive way they portray mm. women. I don't know why he does that, but whatever. Um, but um, yeah, like I, I oh, dude, Laurie Strode, she become like there's no likable character in those movies at all. He's like, very. Who do you root for? He's very well, the way that Rob Zombie writes movies too. He's very uh, influenced by like the B and C movies of like the day of the heyday. So you have yeah. these B movie like Halloween movies. If you watch a lot of his stuff, like Ten Thousand uh, House of a Thousand Corpses. Yeah, uh, yep. Devil's Rejects, yep. uh, all all those type they're of movies. They're all the same. They're yeah. all yeah, basically the same. You know what you get with a with a Rob Zombie movie. It's mm-hmm. the same way when you watch a Quentin Tarantino movie. You feel you're gonna get that same type of uh, style of sure, movie. sure. It does it work with a Halloween franchise? Not at all. The beginning part of when you're introduced from that old Halloween from the first Rob Zombie Halloween movie, from when you're introduced to Michael Myers from a young age, like as a kid. Yeah. All the way to the part where it gets to like present day Haddonfield, where it's basically just a shot for shot remake of the original movie, right? but just like just dumb dialogue, to be honest. Yeah, it's about the same shit, to be honest. But I liked how they flushed out the Michael Myers character plus Loomis in that beginning first 20, 30 minutes, whatever it was of that film. After that, it went to hell. After that, it was like, OK, <laughs> this is this. This is not good. Like what they should have done was just stayed in that element of like in that this universe, is Michael Myers, John Carpenter. psyche, and yeah. you you focus more on the psychological part of Michael Myers. You didn't have to do a whole remake of that first uh, 1978 movie because literally shot for shot remake of that. Yeah. Um, so that's what upset. And the second one it, doesn't it even was, exist yeah. to me. The second one so, was with the unicorns and the horses and the yeah, dreams. And the angel and, of his, his mom, oh his dead mom. Oh my God. It was definitely wife, a Rob Zombie movie, but it does not fit and match with like the Halloween universe. It's not the tonality of it's the It's not the Halloween tone of exactly. the originals. Yeah. No. When you compare all. it to even uh, H2O and Resurrection and then bullshit like that, like oh, it's, it's just oh, not. I have, I have to talk about Resurrection. We haven't talked about that yet. Yeah, we haven't even talked about it. <laughs> why, wait, first of all, hold on. Why, why, why you didn't watch Resurrections back then? Because Buster Rhymes was in it. it. I don't care. Wow, you used to love Buster Rhymes, you freaking fraud. As a rapper, not an actor. Wh- and the whole well, premise of like uh, video do cameras. The, do you remember on the, the story? Freaking, do you remember the story? I know okay, it was okay, about okay. they go to the Myers house or something like that. Yeah, and they yeah, all have yeah. video cameras on the side. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. They stream they were it for like a reality into the yeah, world yeah. and stuff like that. Okay, I don't, I don't um, give a shit. Did know. you hear what happens in that movie? Well, I'm sure you know already with no. Laurie Strode. No. Is she in it? Really? Too? Yeah. Oh, I don't even know. Jamie Lee, Cur- Jamie Lee Curtis is the opening kill. Doesn't she die in that movie? Yeah. Yeah, she's the opening. She's the opening death. Okay. okay, sorry to spoil it for you, but whatever. But that movie, that movie takes place like three years after the first that's one. That's why I everybody mean, I mean, hated it because after H two O, after H two O, well, that's the thing, bro. When she did H two O, and the reason why she wanted to do H two O was because she, I, she felt she had to bring a closure to the Laurie Stroh character 
after so many years and the, the whole horrible franchise of, you know, with the, the timeline of Michael Myers. So they wanted to go back again to Halloween 2 and fix the, the timeline, right? So what happens was she said, okay, I'm coming back, but I have to end it. We're killing Michael Myers. The studio said, you got it. So they lied to her. They gave her that she signed the contract. She signed everything. And at the end, when she's reading the script, she goes, wait a minute. What the fuck is going on? He's he's alive. Like there was like a cliffhanger. He goes and he goes, no, you promised me that I was going to end it. And bro, he, she got into an argument. And you know who came into the room? You remember Kevin, Kevin Williamson? Oh, from Scream. Yes, because yes, he, he co-wrote it uh, H2O. Ooh. He said, oh, all right, Jamie. Yeah, yeah. He said, all right, Jamie. Uh, how about if your character and the audience, everybody thinks Michael Meyer is dead. Like, we see him die. And you think he's dead. The audience thinks he's dead. Are you satisfied with that? And she goes, so he dies. Uh, okay, so we're going to kill him. No, no. Yes, you're going to think he's dead. And the audience will think he's dead. So she knows right there that they're gonna they're gonna f with it, you know, for the next one later on. And she said, "All right, if I do one more after that, it's because I'm dying. I'm done. Like that's the only way I'll come back." So he's like, "No, no, don't worry, whatever." So uh, yeah. So long story short, so she did that one. They they killed him off. Then the next one they did a resurrection. She saw the way they brought him back. Did you ever find out how they faked his death with no. the whole de- decapitation? You, how about you, Alex? You never found. You never. Oh, wow! Mm. So what happened was in H two O, he grabbed one of the police officers before they they found his body, and he broke. Um, he strangled him so hard that he broke his vocal cords, and so he couldn't talk. So then, basically, and obviously knocked the bounce, and and but he didn't kill them. So he, I guess, he switched the costume. So he gave him his Michael Myers costume with the mask. I bet. Oh, and okay. then he became the the paramedic the or the cop or police <laughs> or officer. Whatever, yeah. He walks. Oh, he walks away to the woods. Nobody with no mask. cares. With no, with no mask. Okay. And then he, they're all focused on this old man with the mustache, whatever. And obviously later on, when they after they uh, decapitate him, they they take out the mask. They see he's an old man with the mustache. Wait a minute, what's going on? And that's what um, we find out. She she went crazy. She heard about she killed an innocent person, so she ended up ended up again in a mental institution. But she's been waiting for Michael Myers to show up any moment. So he finally shows up to kill her. Um, he succeeds, but before she dies, she gives him a kiss on his lips, <laughs> on Ew. the mask, on the mask. Oh, on the mask, and, and the mask, not for real. And, oh, that's and, still her brother. Remember, that's, remember, so that's her. That's her brother. Yeah, yeah it's still like yeah. a Star Wars moment. And, like, yeah, cool. and then she, and then she dies, and then, then, and then the the, the movie takes place in that when Buster Rhymes, which originally wasn't even a Michael Myers movie, it was a it was a horror film. Which they adapted to, you know, Halloween like always. And the movie is known; it's so ridiculous, Michael, because the end of the movie, Buster Rhymes confuses Michael Myers to death. Like he goes, "Whoa, whoa, to trick or treat, motherfucker!" Whoa, 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 right? So he's kicking Michael Myers around like a rag doll. I'm not kidding. Well. And then, and then at the end. He finds out that all oh, this kicks and stuff is not gonna do anything. So what is what does he do? <laughs> he electrocutes his balls. Michael okay. Myers ball us, bro. His eyes goes like, oh, like that, right? Okay. Right. And then he and then he kind of burns. <laughs> he kind of burns in wires, also being electrocuted. So then he dies, right? And then they take the body to the to the uh colonel, whatever. And you know what happens when they when they go to the morgue? He wakes up. He wakes up. And yeah. and that's the that's the credits. Um, oh. obviously nobody liked that movie. Everybody trashed that movie. It was so stupid. See, but that's why that's why movies like this the end. Like you could tell they kind of make <laughs> they kind of poke fun at it in this one. Like the ridiculousness of how people think they could actually fucking kill this guy. Right. But then he just comes back like even stronger and just like really fucks him up. Like horribly fucks him up. Supposedly, so, Alex, there's a, there's a, uh, um, almost they say, oh my god, a, a clause, a clause. There's a clause in the contracts that it says you can never kill Michael Myers, no matter what. So in this last and ends, they, I wouldn't be surprised if we never really see him die. 
So that this timeline, I think, will be over. So if they make a sequel, which I'm sure they are, after ends, just so you know, because they're never going to finish. Bro, it's a franchise that's been going on since 78. They're not going to finish it now for a new generation. So they're going to continue with a whole new cast. Nothing to do with Laura Stroh or any of that. But it's it's not going to – but he won't die. I mean, they just can't do that because there's a clause in the contract that says you cannot kill Michael Myers. So I mean, who signed that clause? Was that Michael Myers himself? <laughs> yes, yes, I, I don't know it. But who is it? Who's Michael Myers? It, it was no, no, no. It was the original creator, I guess, who owns the rights to Michael Myers. John Carpenter. Oh, he's dead, isn't he? No, no, no. Maybe John, John Carpenter. Carpenter. John Carpenter. No, no, he's, he, no, he, he's hmm. no, he's working on the movie. Uh, wasn't but that the Mustafa? But doesn't whatever Mustafa? Name? Yeah, 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 exactly. Right. But yeah, he's dead. How he? He's right, but his son got the rights. Mm. So his son ha- now has distribution or the rights. They dealt with him for this movie. Yeah, he's a producer. In the, in the, he's considered in a producer. The, yeah. In the clause, I think it says that you, you just can't get rid of him permanently. I mean, it yeah, doesn't make sense. How he makes to, money. It doesn't make sense to kill him, exactly, because right. then you don't have no movies moving forward. Yeah, and that guy would be broke. Mustafa's yeah. family would be broke. <laughs> I mean, but then, I mean, then again, Michael Myers. Let's be fair; he's a, he's Unless an icon. Somebody he's an icon takes right now. on the mantle, but then people would be outraged by that. If like somebody else becomes Michael Myers, you know, like how Hollywood uh, likes to reboot Matthew shit. Myers, I'm like yeah, yeah. Matthew but, Myers, you, Michael you Myers. Say Matthew, son. You say Matthew yeah. Myers? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's Michael Myers' son. It's Laurie Strode and Michael Matthew Myers' son. Myers. Yeah. Well, well, you remember they had a kid. Uh, what, what was the movie? Oh, oh wasn't my God. Josh Hartnett? No, not that. No, 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 no. But um, who had a niece? Hold on, oh, hold on. Yeah, Danielle was, Husser, Harris. She had a kid, and apparently the father was Michael Myers. That's disgusting, bro. Oh, that timeline was deleted. Thank God. So the well, uncle, the kid, the, uncle the kid raped is the girl? Paul Rudd. The kid is Paul no, Rudd in the movies. That's Tommy. Yeah. No, 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 not Tommy Doyle. I mean the the no um, the clown the clown girl. Right, exactly. There was a time a time five. jump yep. between five and six. Do you remember that movie, uh, Mike? And then six, she was she was an older actress now. Which, by the way, Michael well, she Martin, was in she was, the uh, Rob Zombie Halloween. She was. Yep, the actress. She was. Oh, yeah. I don't remember. She was she like was, one, uh, of one of the girls, wait, 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 wait. one of the, the friends. Little girl? Oh, yep. the, oh, the big girl. The little girl. Oh, okay, okay, no, no. She was one because of the friends. In, yeah. in six, they changed the actress. It became a, a, a older a actress yeah, yeah. because years pass, years pass by. Michael Myers kills her in the beginning of the movie, but they had a baby. And who's the baby? Who's the father? Michael Myers. It's disgusting. Wait, hold, hold. wait. So <laughs> the clown, the clown girl. That was attached to Michael Myers. Is, I thought that was Danny? his niece. Danny? Was her name Danny? Was that was, that was her know. name? Danny, I know right? the actress's name was Danielle Harris. So Wait, it could no, have no, been. No, 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 it's not Danny. I'm thinking of a real name. Brandy, J.C. Brandy is Jamie Lloyd. That's who's in the... J- Jamie? J.C. Lloyd? Jamie? Yeah. Okay. Well, her, she was Michael Myers' niece. And, and, and Michael Myers... They had a so baby? Like, yeah, bro. But great. that's what I'm saying. The baby in the movie is <laughs> apparently face. Tommy. Your face. You heard? <laughs> no, I heard you. But no, no. But Tommy. No, Tommy, Tommy is just before, a kid, though. a neighbor that uh, Lori babysat for. Yeah, very, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you don't I, see Tommy until later. I'm talking about in six though. The baby is Tommy. That's what I'm saying. I was reading about this later that it was what he's baby? the baby, the baby that Omar Wait, talking I'm, about right on. now. Hold on. They named that baby Tommy. I'm yes. not, not going to say. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, they named him Tommy, but that's it's not, not Tommy the same Doyle. Tommy Doyle. Tommy Doyle. That's his name as listed. That's character. impossible. A fool. Tommy Doyle was Paul, like Paul nine Rudd, years Paul old Rudd, in 1978. Yeah, Paul Rudd plays Tommy Doyle. And Paul the Rudd baby's, is Tommy Doyle. Yes. The baby's name is. Uh, hold on. He could be a Doyle. Maybe Tommy Doyle <laughs> Jr. If he's <laughs> if he's the baby that. Paul Rudd had, then he, he could be a Tommy Jr. I don't know. This shit needs to be cut out, though. This is well, like that, ridiculous. No, no, no. We're just, we're no, no, no. It's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> no, it, by the way, no, Alex, Alex, you're close. It's Stephen Lloyd. <laughs> Not oh, Stephen Lloyd. Okay. Stephen so Lloyd was that? born. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So that's Michael Myers' son? It says Stephen Lloyd, Halloween series wiki is the baby. You can see Stephen born from Jimmy Lloyd. <laughs> So it's Stephen Lloyd, Mike, oh not God. Tommy Doyle. I don't know where this guy got that from. 
Because I'm so reading Stephen the Loyal is in the so Stephen, so Stephen Lloyd, Lloyd is the new Michael well, Myers. I guess it sounds like Doyle. Yeah, whatever. The baby. Yeah, the baby. So Stephen remember, will be the I, new I Michael think, Myers. So if I remember correctly, they they wanted to imprint him with the curse. That was that was the story. But that movie has two different versions: the director's like cut and the in the theatrical cut. Yeah, it's kind of like Twilight shit. I'm gonna but imprint. Cool. I'm gonna imprint but, this guy. But obviously, uh, Tommy Doyle, Paul Rudd, never allowed that to happen. And that was the ending. He's Paul movie. Rudd. That's why. Yeah, you can cut. You can cut this crap out. But yeah, yeah we'll that, that was, <laughs> cut some. This would be like this would be like bro, archive the, shit for like bro, a hidden gem. This is on our Patreon. Day. Bro, yeah. Halloween went to incest. Like that's full. disgusting. I yeah. full. This will be a like, part two of, <laughs> of this spot, of this episode. But let's let's uh wait up. But no, no, let's wrap it up with I guess Alex's thoughts and my thoughts, whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's exactly. It. So okay. of course we have the reviews. Uh, I found a couple of reviews, like one star reviews. Of people that did not like the movie, that did not like this movie, obviously. Um, one of them said the title was M. Why Everyone's So Stupid. That was the exact title. Why Everyone's So Stupid. I, I know what, what he means by that. What the actual hell? Why Everyone's So Stupid here? I have mm-hmm. so many questions about everything about the movie. They are trying to make it big, but it fails so hard. Ha ha. Anyway, not a good try. One star. So that was one of those. The next one I found, it said, one star, glad I didn't pay for it. I watched Peacock for wrestling, and if I had the choice, I'd Four. watch wrestling. <laughs> Four. How many times do we have to watch a movie that is exactly what it is? No surprises, no reason why, and it left an opening for hopefully it will end. Can't go into the plot as is, but I fell asleep for most of it. I one star. Of everything. I most Idiot. Ever, bro. Yeah. And then the last one I found, it said, ugh. Hollywood sucks. Michael takes on the fire department like John Wick. Throw oh, some yeah. gays in. Stupid flashbacks with unnecessary characters. So many horrible black actors and actresses. I expected Tyler Perry to make an appearance. Michael killed so many black people. You think BLM would have rioted? Spoiler alert: This movie sucks. One star. What a freaking idiot! You're a the thing, fucking stupid the, piece the of thing shit. Is- all right, I don't know about those reviews. Most likely, a They're lot dumb. of them are, tro- are tro- or just being trolls or being trolls. I don't know. I know for a fact a lot of the people that did not like this movie as much as 2018, mm-hmm. it was because Jamie Lee Curtis did nothing. Oh, and yeah. that was the main. They felt they got robbed out of like the you know. So they like want to see up. Grandma Curtis run around. They want to see and... Grandma Curtis and fight the you know oh, uh, here, Michael man. Myers. But I think was the it's fine because it, this is the middle of the story. Correct. We're not done. We're not done we're yet. Not done with that's, it, why, yeah. that's why I said earlier that ants could literally land like uh nail the landing or it could completely botch it. That's up to them. We don't know yet. But I think was it, I was okay with her Taking a sabbatical for this movie because let's be fair, bro. She's like seventy years old. What can she, what can she do? You know, she's let seventy. Her, she's, she got she's stabbed resting. by Michael Myers in the last yes. movie. Burn her house down. She's bleeding profusely. Like, what do you want her to do? Like, what do you want her to do? They, she they kicked, she need a doctor when uh, a the doctor doctor's in the way and, and, bl- and, then and split blood open. Out. Yep, and bl- split open. So you think but, she's gonna go uh, against Michael fans, Myers the whole time? Get out of here! I guess Mike, the fans feel like let's say if you and I we watch like a like Scream Five and Nev Campbell and there's the no Nev Campbell, and, and yeah. no, it's just in the hospital the whole movie. That's kind of I think how they feel. But then the difference is that what if that but Scream Five it's just one movie. We're, we're not gonna get six the next year. Correct. I mean, that'll be that'll be cool. But that's what I'm saying. It's a, it's different. You have to wait a year. That's fine. Just wait. Yeah. It's kind of like watching Infinity War. Oh, crap. They die. Oh, Spider-Man. Oh, God, Marvel's over. Endgame. That's it. Yeah. Wait, wait for Endgame next year. Yeah, it's not over yet. You yeah. know, I, that's, how, that's how I see it. It's just you have to wait till the story's over. That's all. There were some really dumb reviews out there that I read, though, that said directing was terrible. Editing was terrible. I'm like, the editing was great. No. Uh, like, I don't understand. I highly disagree. Again, that is Correct. trolling. Same. Because yeah. in my opinion, I believe this movie was the best cinematography that I've seen for any whole oh, uh, Yeah. Bro, 100%. not only they nailed the, the choreography, which was in ridiculous, the way mm-hmm. the shot by shot, you could actually understand what was happening. And it was yep. so beautifully shot. Not only that, they so nailed the 70s flashback to even to the hokey acting. 
listen the to the acting, acting bro the there was something on the actual, there was something yeah. about it that felt even my daughter was like wait is this like old real old footage I'm like, like old, hey, Michelle, yeah. they this is recreated new scenes yeah like bro how about we didn't even talk about it mike loomis yeah the it cgi like loomis that. face yeah identical whatever you look great yeah like they, i was they, reading they, i was reading about that today because apparently he was supposed to be in the 2018 movie mm-hmm. they have a, they have an actual clip that got yeah, died, cut right? out no i don't know if he died i think it was just something like a flashback type like this movie and the problem was yeah, but, i guess for time they cut it out or whatever but they have an actor that they did kind of like play. the luke skywalker thing where they had the guy and then they self-imposed Loomis's face, face over yeah, it because yeah. he looks like very similar to him. So they were able Ooh. to get away with it. But it, it looked awesome. Yeah. Yes, they did a good job. The director went all out. He really recreated the 70s um, feeling for, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. Donald Pleasant. Yeah, 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 he died, he died in 95. He died yeah, in 1995. Yeah, a long he time ago. He died. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He died. Yeah, he died. But they, whatever. They did a really good job. And I feel when you swing. I mean, bro, this movie, the, the quality just feels... It's like such a step up from whatever garbage we watch it for the past 20, like, well, I mean, since H2O, maybe that was probably the most quality one we got. That was it. Yeah. You know, but, but come on, it's been so long. That's been more than 20 years. Yeah. Love you know, fans are idiots or get, I don't think they're fans. I think they're trolls, to be honest. Yeah. It could be either or either or. Because I felt the same way after the Star Wars uh, reviewers too, where they were just shitting on like everything, like oh, Last Jedi, how like, they, they like everything, like, like everything on, was ne- negative. Yeah, like no, everything no, was negative. I, mean, I don't think everything's negative either. That's stupid. No, I think I mean, you were just looking for attention. My own personal okay. experience yeah. from theaters, like Michael was saying, my theater was completely packed when I watched it, and I felt like from seeing the people that were around me and hearing their conversations after the movie, a lot of them are not like diehard Halloween fans. Like they've never yeah, seen they casually watch it. Any of the yeah. movies. They're all casual like, why movie are you there? Why are you there? So for them to then go out and review it, I I won't take their review into consideration because it's no. like and from the critics perspective, I did have a conversation with Michael about this though, like, you know, earlier and I was saying how I think I guess from like the first movie, the twenty eighteen one they liked the fact that the movie was a little more grounded as far as storytelling and like there was an actual yeah. plot in a sense. And this one kind of felt a little less in the plot perspective. Uh. I, I, I will give it that, but it, it, and I will admit that, but then for me, it's like I went into this, not really expecting it to be a plot heavy movie. Like it's supposed to be, it's Halloween. Like every yeah, but- Halloween movie is, you know, like there's a story. I'm not saying there's not a story in this. Don't get well, me what wrong. What exactly is the plot of 2018? I guess they like the fact that they had like the detectives like going through like the storylines and like actually like researching about Michael and then like the ones that died it, like, in the first 10 yeah, minutes. Exactly. The podcast people. Yeah, they died like within 30 minutes of the movie. Exactly. There, there was no plot. Bro. Yeah. Like the Halloween. plot is exactly the same as the other Halloween movies. How uh, Michael Myers escapes a mental institute and goes on a killing spree. The only I'm difference just is, saying, is Jamie Lee Curtis. I'm now just saying is from what back. critics are saying, like yeah, this I mean, is what critics too, are though. saying, and then what they're saying it's is bro. there's no progression in the story, which that's true. And what Omar is it's saying just, that you don't really, night. you yeah. can't really tell what his motivation is. So I I get that argument as far as them feeling that way but to me there's still another movie to be had you know like i felt the same way when i watched last jedi like everybody was super pissed off about last jedi then we go into um what what was the last one the The, last skywalker rise of skywalker Skywalker. Skywalker. and i'm gonna tell you i've only watched that movie one fucking time all the way through (laughs) It was well, too much of a fan service film. There was too much shit where they were trying to make people all excited and happy because they were all upset about Last Jedi and how it took yeah, yeah. twists and they, turns they, and they whatever, you know. Things there. Yeah, but like for me, like just give the next movie a chance to like really wrap up this. It's a trilogy, you know, like they're not going to end it with this movie. 
I don't so, think people you know. knew that it was a trilogy either. Like I didn't know until I knew, like last I week. knew I, that though I, I when it first so. when the first one came out. Like they had announced that they had signed mm-hmm. on for two trilogy. more films. Two more. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I missed yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Because once <laughs> the movie, the first one was super successful when it came out. Um, for an R-rated horror movie. Yeah. At that time, mm-hmm. it was like they made a lot of money in the time it was released. So. They immediately greenlit two sequels. I remember reading about that, so I was yep. excited about it. You know, but yeah. again, you know, for people that are not in the no no outs, I'm not saying that you aren't because I know you know a lot about news and and movies and stuff that's coming out. But for casual people, like I said, which was probably a big group of my audience that was in the movie theater with me, they probably don't realize there's going to be another fucking movie coming out later on. You know, yeah. And Barely they didn't put it knows. at the end. It's not like they put a little caption that says Michael Myers will return again. You know, like that's, not like Marvel. <laughs> that's how you have to explain <laughs> it to people. Like, like, like James Bond will return. Yeah. Shang Chi will return. James Bond will not James return. Bond will return. <laughs> no, no, it, no. It, it said, said it. will it said return. Yeah. No, will return. No, no. Alexis said it. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. Um, but, um, but you know what? That in a way, man. This this is what I know. This is like a side note, Mike. But why Scream Five? Why do they're calling a Scream? Same thing like Halloween For 2018. Halloween, yeah. If it's successful, bro, they're pl- they could plan to get two more out of it. Yeah, you know, I, I, I create a whole new story with what's scream going again. on now. Scream, scream louder! Scream! Your, <laughs> scream! This. And if not, they'll wait like five years and then try to reboot right. it again. Well, it's well, no, because I mean, I think they have a good chance, bro. Because I, if, I mean, with the, they have a new director, new writers, they're they're hot. And if this movie makes money, bro, because they're bringing all these new audience members, because it's just called Scream. So they're going to watch it because it's not like five, like four, when you feel intimidated by a number. I feel that's going to bring more people to watch it. And, you know, like Halloween 2018, bro, you, they explain some things here and there, but you don't have to watch the original to get what's going on. You know, it, it kind of follows the story. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. hey, we'll see. We'll see, man. See what happens. Yeah. Well, yeah. on that note, we'll uh, find out what our host decided to think of this movie i i, I get a gist of what you guys think about this movie like, I, I feel like you really like this movie but i want to know uh how you how you how you rated it at a dog shits we'll call it a actually we'll call it a no, how many no, pumpkins no, how many I, pumpkins out I, of I say, uh, how many pumpkins out of 10 and well pumpkins are, are positive I have, I have one better for you well okay give me what's our what's our rating scale mm, i'm gonna give it Steps. I'm gonna give it eight Buster Rhymes out of out of eight. <laughs> I refuse to acknowledge Buster Rhymes <laughs> as a rating system <laughs> and any of my movies. <laughs> I refuse. See, tickle tree, <laughs> motherfucker. Uh, uh, no, 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 I'm gonna give pumpkins. it eight, eight pumpkins. Eight pumpkins out of ten. Yes. Beautiful, well, Alex. What would, what would you give it? I give it uh, eight and a half. Oh, eight and a half. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to sit at a nice steady eight as well. Uh, That's nice. Eight, eight out of go. ten. We agree. Uh, overall, I think we we agreed about this movie, about the feel about this movie, and how it really progressed or not progressed the story. Uh, we enjoyed <laughs> the cinematography of it, the editing, the music, uh, the suspense. Everything was just was really spot on in this movie. I had low expectations, especially when I heard it was going to be streaming on Peacock. But I am 500% glad that I saw it in the theater. And it did not disappoint. It was a very good movie. I would recommend to people too, like if you're looking to watch this movie, like in a better experience, I would say it was better in theaters because when I watched it at home, like I don't know about you guys because Omar watched on Peacock, but I had a lot of like buffering issues like, the quality mm. of it was not as clear. I don't know if it was just me, whatever the case may be. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I don't know. Watching it in theaters for the quality of the video. And then I obviously watched it in Dolby. So the sound was like just yeah. fucking phenomenal as far yeah. as hearing the slashes and the kills and just the music. The soundtrack of this movie was fucking great too. Really great. Yeah. Really there's well composed. Some, there's, there's some good... Um, um, tracks for sure. Mm-hmm. There's yeah. one. There's one track that I really missed. I don't know if you guys caught it. You guys saw recently the 18 one, right? You said yeah. It was the track that plays when uh, Michael Myers starts to chase um, Allison. That was a new track, and I felt that was her track. 
And I love that track. Do you guys remember that track at all? Well, in the beginning, it was very fast. No, the no, first no, movie you're saying. In 2018, yes. When when he, when he starts to after, follow her at the end, after, at the end of the movie, yes. When he finds when he when she finds the the friend, the, the friend like in the in the fence, yeah. Yeah, I remember the track, beginning of the track like, with with the guitar like, yeah. and the band. That, dude, I missed that track. I thought that was gonna be like her track going forward. And I guess they didn't bring. I did back, like so the one on the stairs. There's like one when they're having yes. the fight scene on the stairs with, in this with, one. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, and the, the music, yeah, the music yeah. Mm-hmm. on that part was that like one too. That one was really, really good, good too. Yeah. With, with Cameron, yeah, that yeah. was mm-hmm. good. Yeah, yeah so that was good too. There's a lot of good aspects. Your of the soundtrack. Movie. I, mm-hmm. I highly recommend it. So if you haven't seen it yet, uh, it is in theaters and of course on Peacock. If you have a free subscription for that, go ahead and watch it. But if Big not, Big John and Little John. Watch it in theater. I'm telling you, it's it's a great movie. Uh, anything you guys want to leave off with? Want to say goodbye to my friends? Evil dies tonight. No, it needs to die. That's all I'm gonna leave it with. It needs to die. It and needs to die. actually, I'll leave it with one more thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it back to earlier in the episode. All Karen suck, so don't be a Karen. I even do Or you're gonna fucking die. Michael Myers is gonna get you. The Boogeyman's gonna get you. That's your clip right there.